It needs more than a lick of paint, but the men's former night shelter at the Christchurch City Mission will soon be housing families. It will cost about $140,000 to renovate the building into three apartments for families urgently needing a place to stay. The government will fund the bulk of the cost, with the City Council picking up the rest of the tab. These are families who are currently homeless and placing themselves in there at risk because of that. Since the Christchurch City Mission moved across the road to New Premier, in 2012, these old buildings have been rented out as office space. The three self-contained units consist of two bedroom apartments. Another one on the top story has three bedrooms. The families would stay for up to 12 weeks at a time and have a range of social services to call on. Well, we get two or three families a week, perhaps sometimes more, who come and ask for help because they're homeless. They're in substandard homes or they're in um, homes that are badly overcrowded or they're sleeping in their cars, in sheds, garages. However, because the families will stay for up to three months at a time, this means that potentially only 12 families may be able to stay here each year. A lot more needs to be done. This is a really small project. It's just going to help three families at a time. But what we hope is that we'll be able to find good landlords with affordable healthy homes who will be willing to rent to these people. The accommodation still needs consent signed off before the renovations can begin. However, once the work starts, it should only take about five weeks to complete. Michael Gorman hopes the first families will be in here by Christmas. And we'll work with them and try and find other safe, healthy accommodation for them. The high demand for accommodation highlights the housing challenges Christchurch is experiencing. We imagine that there's always going to be a need for accommodation in Christchurch for the foreseeable future. However, the new apartments won't help homeless woman Tarns, who is pregnant. CTV News first met Tarns early in the year, when she had a partner and a home. The Christchurch Press has now reported that Tarns is seven months pregnant and drifting between shelters while she works on the street. City Missioner Michael Gorman says unfortunately the city mission's accommodation is only temporary but their social agencies are working to find her a home. We'll have more on this later in the week. Marcus Skibbs, CTV News.